Question 21. So here's a quick and easy uh, uh, question, but of course uh, you know, need to know some basic equation, uh, which is Ohm's law, very famous, uh, comes up on the exam regularly in many different contexts. Uh, so uh, V is equal to IR, that's voltage, is equal to current times resistance. If you Google uh, GAMSAT uh, physics formula list or equation list, uh, you'll see that I've, I've I put a, a web page with uh, all the equations that you need to know for physics for this exam. And uh, this is a very important one. I'll also just mention, since we're on the topic, <laughs> that uh, you know voltage is in volts, uh, current is in amperes, uh, resistance is in ohms, and then uh, a compatriot uh, <laughs> equation, which comes up from time to time, not as often as Ohm's law, but still it's a very important equation, which is power, which is in units of watts or joules per second, uh, is equal to current times voltage. That's not necessary in this context, but it's uh, useful to keep that in mind and uh, possibly uh, for some other context on, for the exam. So what did we learn? Um, in the question stem, it teaches us that the risk is proportional to the current. And of course, we're given a table in which we have voltage and resistance, so we just need to uh, solve for current, and then we can compare the current in the uh, two different circumstances. So, um, so we have that I is going to be equal to V over R, and so for the uh, first circumstance, uh, the voltage is 110, and the res resistance is 3,000 ohms, and so the zeros cancel. We have 11 over 300, or approximately 1 over 30. So this is approximately 1 over 30. And um, in the second situation, we have 240, uh, divided by uh, 2,200, uh, zeros cancel, we have 24 over 220, it's not very far from 22 uh, over uh, 220, uh, so this is a approximately 1 over 10. Now, you're going to be estimating a lot on the exam, it's just natural, you have to get in the habit of doing so, but you the only reason I did this is because I looked at the answers and they're far apart. You know, three to one, four to three, two to one. I, I would be half. I would have to be off, off by thirty-three percent or forty or fifty percent in order to get uh, an ambiguous response. So to change something by ten percent or you know something like that or less is not going to change my answer at all. So I know this is uh, very safe. Um, you know, uh, to to estimate. And then I just have to uh, put the right number over the right number because uh, we're asking for the ratio of 240 to 110. So they gave you this first uh, in the table, but they're asking for the ratio of this over this. <laughs> so anyway, so we'll, we'll do our ratio. So we're going to put um, uh, 110 over 1 over 30. And so... Uh, you know the little song that I sing in the course is, is uh, the denominator in the denominator is the same as a numerator. So that means uh, that comes up. Of course, if you that's not clear to you, you should review your math. And so we have 30 over 10, which is uh, 3 over 1, which is the same thing as saying a ratio of 3 to 1 because that is what a, a fraction does. And so if you have to review your rules of fractions or whatever, you can see that in GAMSAT Math 1.4 and uh, electricity, V is equal to IR, P is equal to IV, and physics 10.1 and 10.3.